I am packing for a wedding that I'm shooting solo tomorrow. Sad. Usually it would be Carly and Matt, but tomorrow it is just Matt. I'm packing my bags right now, and I figured what better way to showcase what I am bringing and what I would bring if I was shooting weddings solo in 2024. Let's take a look. Number one is going to be the Nikon Z5. And not just one, but three of them to be exact. So I am bringing three Z5s to tomorrow's wedding. Now I know that might be overkill, but I just love redundancy and I hate thinking about what would happen if two out of three of my cameras died, right? So probably not gonna use one of them, but I'm just bringing three because if I have them, why not bring them? Next is lenses. I am bringing only three lenses tomorrow. I'm bringing the 24 1.4 from Sigma, the 50 f1.4 from Sigma as well, and the final lens I'm bringing is the 70 to 200 f2.8 from Nikon. Personally, I am a prime lover when it comes to shooting weddings. Carly, on the other hand, is usually more of a zoom person herself, but because I know that I'm gonna be shooting and I'm gonna be shooting the way I enjoy, I'm gonna be using mostly the 24 and the 50, and then I'm using the 70 to 200 for all the tight shots during the ceremony, and typically only other time that I'll be using it is going to be during the reception, specifically during the speeches. And those are gonna be the three lenses I'm bringing. Next, I'm gonna be bringing uh, this flash system. So I have here two flashes from Yangnuo, one YN563, one YN564, and a flash controller as well. That way I can use this on a camera and light the reception as best as I can using off-camera flash. So I have the option of on-camera or off-camera. You might be wondering why Yangnuo, a brand I've never heard of instead of something like Godox. Well, I have them. We've been using them for over three years, never had any issues. And I mean, it's a flash. If it works and they look great, why not use it? Next on the list is going to be SD cards and I love to bring way more than we actually need. All of the cameras are already loaded and these are all just gonna be spares. Uh, I generally tend to run either 128 gig cards or 256 gig cards and uh, I just kind of pick and choose as we go. Now, rule of thumb is every section of the day, I like to swap cards. So ceremony, once the ceremony is done, I take those cards and their backups, put them in here and then swap them out for a different card. That's just me. I like to keep it nice and safe in here. This is a waterproof, can freeze proof, everything proof, um, little uh, SD card holder. This is always worth the buy just because I never really have to worry about it and it's nice to have peace of mind, that kind of thing. Next, I'm bringing a good strap. Um, these are Peak Design. You've probably seen these before. I love the Peak Design straps and specifically I'm using this one for the majority of the day, but for the ceremony, I will be using something totally different. For this ceremony, I'm going to be using this guy right here. It's not the hold fast money maker, blah, 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 whatever $400 one that you see every other wedding photographer on YouTube or use. This is an Amazon special and it works great. I know you're probably gonna say, why would you put thousands of dollars of camera gear on this? Build quality is fantastic and it's fully leather. It just wasn't $300, it was more like a hundred. So whatever this is, that's what I'm rocking during the ceremony. And obviously for the last bits of the obvious camera gear I'm bringing is extra batteries. All of these are specific Nikon batteries to the Z5. We used to rock off brand Amazon batteries that cost $20 each. These cost about $100 each. And I've kind of gone back and forth, but now that we've invested so much money in mirrorless cameras, I figured if we're already spending the money on cameras, why would we throw $20 batteries into these cameras that cost a couple thousands of dollars, so I decided we would invest in official batteries that way. I don't know, I guess peace of mind, something like that. Maybe, something like that. So far, all of that has been pretty obvious, but now we're gonna get into the fun stuff that I'm bringing for tomorrow. So I am bringing two filters, as well as filter threads, in order to use these filters. But these are used during portrait sessions, and I love to use these because they just bring a little something extra to the table that is not really expected. First is going to be this split diopter. 
That's probably looking really weird on camera. Split diopter. This thing is awesome. We just picked it up. It's from newer for, I don't know, like 70 bucks or something. Super fun. We like using filters just to kind of change up the look of things. It makes us look at, you know, images differently and composing differently and it just kind of gets us out of a creative funk. So this is uh, basically brings everything out of focus in a really weird plane. You can kind of see it there. And it just adds a little something to our photos. Uh, we don't do a ton with those, just a few to kind of add a little bit of I don't know, chef's kiss, something like that. And the only other filter that we're gonna bring is going to be a black mist filter right there. So you probably won't be able to see a ton of a difference, but these are really, really nice. They add just a little bit of a dreamy look. This is the quarter strength black mist filter. So it really adds a little bit of kind of like a softer glow to everything. So we love using those just during the portrait session and sometimes uh, during some evening photos with anything with light, it adds a little bit of a halo. So these are two things that not many people would bring, but we bring just to change things up a bit. And that's it. I mean, honestly, all in all, pretty simple. I'll show you what it looks like on the ground, but that all condenses basically into one bag and that's it. And this is what it condenses to. Now, ignore how ugly it might look. I still need to find a little bit of space for this guy. Still need to find a little bit of space for this guy. Uh, and this has its own bag, which is over there. But all in all, that's actually all I'm bringing tomorrow and it fits nice and easy into our one bag. Boom, just like that. It weighs about, oh, I don't know how much this is gonna weigh. Ah, whatever, it weighs it quite a bit, but this is gonna be the PGY Tech 102 backpack, carries all that, no problem, and that's gonna be it. That is all I'm gonna be bringing to tomorrow's wedding. If you have any questions about any pieces of gear, why we're bringing it, you know, just drop your comments below drop a sub. I appreciate it. We're getting the channel up in numbers and that is my dream. I've been having a lot of fun with this YouTube thing and I hope I'm helping you in the process. And this. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.